Christmas. As a matter of fact, he has it so bad that he's feeling very nostalgic and homesick. He really wants to go home for Christmas. So he sent out a radio signal to his friend Jumpy Monkey at the circus to come let him out of the box that he lives in. And here's Jumpy Monkey who has just let him out of the box. The lid is removed and there's Clanky Man coming out of his box. Begin his journey home for Christmas. Clankety Man's journey begins in Polar City. First, he visits the choir singing by the nativity scene next to the bonfire. Now he says farewell to his friends at the little newsstand in Polar City. Finally, he goes to the ice skating rink and watches the ice skating action. At this point, he's had enough of cold, wintry weather. He waits at the trolley stop and the trolley picks him up to take him to the inner urban exchange way out in the country next to the farm. Well, here he goes across the bridge. While he waits for the interchange, he gets an opportunity to look around the farm and greet the animals and the farmer and his wife. Near the farm, there's an abandoned water tower where the hobos are camped out. There they are sitting by their campfire and you see the big moose in the picture. Off he goes on the Mercury capsule car. He figures that car will take him eventually to Cape Canaveral, his birthplace. His next stop will be in Middle City, where he will have an opportunity to look around before he hops the next train. Well, it's much warmer in Middle City, a perfect opportunity to have some ice cream from the local ice cream truck. Clankety Man has time to enjoy the Christmas parade featuring Santa Claus and many vintage fire engines. At the end of the parade, we have the Coca-Cola truck. The parade goes past the Sinclair station, Mel's diner, and McDonald's hamburger joint. Santa Claus is enjoying a refreshing Coca-Cola. Here comes the Polar Express. It's going to pick up the Mercury capsule car because they need it in Cape Canaveral. And Clankety Man, of course, is hitching a ride on that car.
now, we wonder, where will Clankety Man's next stop be before he gets home? Well, along the way, Clankety Man finds some more snow. He hasn't escaped from that cold winter weather just yet. This stop is in Christmas City. He enjoys watching the ice skaters doing their figure eights on the ice skating ring. Blankety Man really enjoyed his train stop in Christmas City, but soon it'll be time for him to hop back aboard the Polar Express to continue his journey. Well, it's a very, very long journey from Polar City, way up north in Santa Claus land, to sunny Florida, where Clankety Man came from, at Cape Canaveral. Clanky Man's next stop will be in the town founded by Louis Marx. The name of the town, of course, is Marxville. Still, Clanky Man had a wonderful surprise. He got to ride behind the beautiful red Christmas locomotive. Now, the red Christmas locomotive is a Marsh Commodore Vanderbilt steam engine with a Lionel pre war tender.
When Clankety Man looks over the airfield, he can't help but wonder, why didn't I take a plane instead? It would have been quicker. Well, maybe the answer is they didn't have an airport in Polar City. Well, here we are finally at Cape Canaveral, featuring the beautiful Mark's Cape Canaveral playset in two space shuttles. Finally, Clanky Man meets the NASA engineer, his dad, who assembled him, and they have a very happy Christmas reunion. Clankety Man wishes everybody have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And don't forget the reason for the season.